Hey guys, Zeki here, and welcome back to another episode of Engineer's Life. I was going to say no, I'm playing again. <laughs> welcome back. We're in we're in Engineer's Life. That's what this is called. Yes, we are here, taken by here immersive engineering. That that should help you remind me. Uh, so yeah, we're back. And before we do anything, I have a quest. So hang on. Uh, uh, that. Don't tell me. Don't tell me you despawned. Please don't say you despawned. Please still be here. I found a bird that I want. Love me, please. Hey, we got him. We got a princess. Okay. Uh, do you teleport? <laughs> I know you teleport when I'm running, but I don't know. I don't remember if you teleport. Come on, come on, princess. Okay. Uh, so yeah, while we walk back home, I uh, didn't really do much. Oh, you better not learn zombie sounds. Where are you? Princess? Princess? Oh god, I keep- you were on my shoulder, weren't you? He. Okay. So... Okay. We can calm down now. <laughs> so we're back in the engineer's life. I did a little bit of exploring, as you can tell, because I'm a little over 400 blocks away from home. Um, I was just looking to see if there were any different wood types and stuff. I was really looking for dark oak, but I found mahogany. And some other stuff in jungle wood, so that makes me happy too. Because I really do want to start working on making, like, uh, factories and all that. Which would be very basic, but you know what I mean. But I, I didn't actually get to build anything quite yet. <laughs> it's been a very busy week with everything that's happening in the world, so... Uh, just didn't get to it. But we'll, we'll make sure we'll get that by, not next episode, because this is recorded back-to-back, -back, but you know what I meant by, uh, uh, uh the next week yes so yeah um come on princess so other than that didn't really do much we're just going to be doing some more questing and that sort of thing i did try to plan out a little bit for the water wheel but i know we're not quite to that yet because i believe that takes iron and and it took me like a half hour to remember the name of a uh oh god i forgot it again uh kinetic dynamo <laughs> i couldn't remember what it was because i'm like i, I <laughs> I've never actually built a water wheel myself, so I'm just like, I know there's a piece for it, but I couldn't remember the name of it. But I know now. I had to search a tutorial as a normal person would. So yay. But we're going to get back into this and actually start working on the mechanical age a little bit. Uh, once we can get Princess home and hopefully on my bed. I hear a baby zombie. That's not good. Come on, Princess. Come on. You gotta come inside. I found you a home, or a home, I found you a buddy, chat it. If, if, if she, we'll make it. Where is she? Come here. Come on. Princess. Princess, you aren't bright. Come on. Let's go inside. Alright, get off me. Sit! Somewhere! That's not my shoulder. Come on. Alright, you're on my shoulder again. <laughs> Sit. Yay! Chad has got a buddy. Chad and Princess. This is adorable. And that's such a pretty blue. I'm actually very excited. I, because I was actually planning on not recording for, for another couple minutes. And then as soon as I saw a, a princess, I was like, I gotta bring this bird home. It, it's such a vibrant blue. And I've never had parrots... Uh, uh, well, I've had parrots, because that's a lie, because we, we, have, we had Peter, but still, you know what I meant? I haven't had multiple parrots of different, many different colors. That's the wrong chest. But yeah, so now we have a ton of different wood and that sort of thing. I found green heart, and I also found, we already had cherry, uh, papaya. And then I've also got jungle and some acacia. And I don't really use the acacia for the orange, it's pretty great, but yeah. Don't, 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 don't yell at me, because I know it's not the prettiest wood in the world. But I don't love you also like Acacia. You, you just gotta know how to work with it. You just gotta know how to work with it. So let's actually, like, calm down for a second, because we got, 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 uh, Princess home and work on something. So we already finished Stone Age. We could work a little bit on tools and armor, but I think we're pretty okay right now with our tan leather. It's not like we're out there just fighting stuff. Oh! I did fight one thing, which was a creeper. And it was called, like, a ranged creeper? And I don't know what that means. I don't know if, they, if the, the explosion radius was any larger. But when I killed it, it gave me a diamond. 
So that was nice. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. We got a diamond. Uh, but I don't think I want to work on armor. I think I do want to work on the mechanical age a little bit. And we can't do the light block until we get the witch's brew. So we'll need a cauldron, low grade charcoal, and two whittled sticks. We already have the charcoal. I don't know if it'll... Yeah. I don't know... I don't think we kept the sticks, did we? No. How did I make whittled sticks? Oh, it's just the bone knife and the stick. Where's, where's our bone knife? And two sticks. One, two... Okay. That'll work. And we'll put our bone knife in our backpack. There we go. Oh, and you guys have kept reminding me to use the skill book, so, uh, yeah, they, you guys said just go ahead and use the levels. We're not using them for anything else anyway, so I was like, you know, you're right. So, I did level up the green thumb a little bit, but I did want to work. I thought I leveled up, not stealth, but I thought I hit swords. Oh no, because that requires two levels. So I can draw a bowstring faster. Oh, maybe I did do stealth and I just like blinked. That's fine. Shield proficiency? I don't usually use shields. We could do stone cutting. Increase the stone harvesting speed. Let's do that. Cool. Prospect and potential double ore harvest. Ooh, we need to get on that. That costs two levels though, so yeah. So yeah, so every time I hit five levels and I just for some reason don't do it, you guys have every all the permission to yell at me and say, hey, you've got things. Okay. So this does this this will require a lot of iron. We also need bone and a free so fuck it. Um We have bones. And it wants the clay bucket, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use it, even though I know we have a, a Iron bucket. Oh yeah, and one of you one of you told me to put a craft state crafting station here because uh you, you can see things like if I put this I can't put it back. I could put it there. You could see it. I can't take it out of that slot, but the the other slot I would if I didn't take it out. But that's actually a smart idea, so I'm not like having to just click back and forth in inventory and that sort of thing. So yeah. Okay, so now we need uh iron lumps. So we need six plus seven, which is thirteen. Which means we need Oh, what's 13 times 9? I used to know this. <laughs> Whatever 13 times 9 is. 130 minus. 121? Yeah. 121 iron nuggets. So. That's a lot of iron nuggets. <laughs> so, our best course. We, we do have four iron ingots that we can break down. We also have these iron ore rocks that we've been getting in our... Uh, strainer which the only thing that can be smelted down into is uh is the is the nuggets so that's not like a waste of iron in that case but hopefully well hang on somebody said i can already double my ores and i don't know i didn't pay attention oh the millstone will one iron ore will go into an iron grit which iron grit can be <gasps> You guys are geniuses. Like, really. Because I wouldn't have noticed that. Okay, hang on. So let, let's just take, like, five of these. We're about we're about to test something now. Hey. Alright, so this takes, like, five times. Two. Three. Four. Five. That should spit it out. And let's go smelt it. Let's go smelt it, let's go smelt it, let's go smelt it! Oh, that doesn't have sticks. So that should just give us an ingot. And if that gives us an ingot, then we can just break down all of our, uh, the ingots that we have and just make iron lumps. This is awesome! You guys are awesome and I'm glad. I'd be here forever. These are just gonna be nuggets anyway. I'm happy! That get okay. So let's just break all of those down. That's six. We need one more to at least make the cauldron. We need seven total to do everything else. Okay, so we are going to sleep. And then we're going to double our oars outside for a bit. Which will be loud, but it'll be fine. Because this is what we need. So let's just do this. I wonder... 
So if I had a millstone on each side or all four sides and click this, would it run all four at the same time? It makes me want to make more millstones like now. <laughs> that might that might be something we'll test in a second. Hang on. Cause that'll be way faster than this. Okay. So I wanna make another millstone. Well we let all of that do what it's doing. Okay. Stop telling me how to make things. Okay. So millstone. Yeah, because that was just the gear and then some stone. Like some actual like stone. Okay. And I think can we use stone bricks for this? Eh, we're about to find out. And then we just needed like the treated tree I made a lot of treated wood. So how did I make that? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Oh, it doesn't take that. So let's just make some more stone. Don't question what I just did in my inventory. I don't even know. Okay. Let's break this down. Make some more lumps. Okay, so now we can make the cauldron part. So now we just need five more to make the finishing part. Okay. Well, while we wait to make another millstone, let's work on our already created millstone. One, two, three, four. Sometimes it's four, sometimes it's five. I get confused. I can stand this far away. But no farther. Okay, so there's nothing in there. There it goes. So if we can actually do that on each side, that would actually be quite beneficial. Oh, we need eight. We need eight. Come on. One more. Please. No, this always takes so long. Ooh, that one's almost done anyway. Okay. Break that down. That's three. We are nowhere close. Okay. So that's another millstone, and we're, we're, we need more of the iron. So the, 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 we'll do five each. So if this actually works the way I'm wanting it to work... Oh. That doesn't work. This, it gets overwhelmed. It doesn't know what to do with itself. Uh, so... We're not doing that. So we have an extra millstone, just in case. Uh, how did I make that great? Crank. Oh, so I gave it all back except for the treated sticks, which is fine. Alright, so now we know do not overwhelm the millstone. You just, just don't do it. It doesn't know what to do with itself. It just explodes. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure when we read the instructions on this, it said that somewhere, I just ignored it, but yeah. So, we need three more, meaning we just need to get two, two more of this iron grit. Total, like after the one I'm already holding. Alright, one more. Soon we'll get a faster way to do this. Soon, soon, soon. Okay. Let's go smelt this. We'll just leave that in there to figure itself out. That didn't finish. That's fine. Wrong chest. Okay. We're so close. Hi, princess. Hi, chat. I'm happy. I got two parrots. <laughs> uh, yay. Okay. Um. So while we're waiting on that, uh, let's just go to the farm. Because we, we need to harvest as much hemp as we possibly can. And other things. 
That's not full. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. And I'm told I could technically do the bottom ones as well, but then I gotta re-wait for it all to grow. And it's just better to just, just to wait for the top part. Why did I plant so many beets? I don't eat beets. I don't like beets. I don't even really eat them in Minecraft because it's just a pain to make the soup. In my opinion. Eh. Oh well. Food is food. Just throw it all in there. You done smelting? Where'd you go? Yay! Okay. Alright. Now let's see if I memorize this. It's like... Dun, dun, dun. Nope. Aha! Cauldron! <laughs> We're gonna get there eventually. Yay, cauldron! Okay, so... It's a large iron vat that functions like a chest until it's directly above a fire block. If it is... It slowly processes any valid recipes in its inventory one at a time. It should be noted that more advanced reactions like rendering into glue requires the flames underneath the cauldron to be stoked, which is only possible with the habitious... Habitious? Uh, reactions requiring regular flames such as cooking or boiling will not proceed when it is heated by a stove flame. Lava will not heat the cauldron. Do not use bellows to stoke the fire under a cauldron containing hellfire dust or any other explosives. If you do, be ready to fight and redecorate. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, cool. Uh, so that opened up tan leather, which I thought that's what we were getting already. Oh no, tan leather's different than... What am I wearing? No? Tan leather's tan leather, but it's a different tan leather, so... Okay. Processing normal leather inside a millstone removes any residual flesh and blood that can cause the leather to decompose with time. This produces scored leather... Scoured leather? Scored leather. Which can be processed in a cauldron with bark to produce tan leather. Uh, scored leather that can be cut into pieces before getting tanned. It takes both pieces for the tanning process process to occur in this case, and the end product is, is cut tan leather. Tan leather is resistant to decay and is far more durable than untreated leather. As such, it is much better suited for use in the making of tools, mechanical applications, where wear and tear can quickly come can... Okay, there's a lot of words. Let's go outside. Mm. Okay. So, it wants a flame, which we can do here. And I don't know if this will stay on fire forever, but I'm gonna hope. Alright, place that so far away. Okay. Whittled sticks. Make a flame. Yay! Okay, and I guess water has to go in there. I guess. Okay, hang on. So we're, we're making tanned leather, which... Scoured leather, so I need to put leather in the millstone. We're only gonna do one piece. Uh, for right now. One. Counting with Zykik. Two. Three. Four. Yay. Okay, I don't have to do a fifth one. Okay, so we, we've got the leather. And then... It says we need to put it in there with, like, eight bark. Do I... I have bark. So do the question is do we need water? Oh no, we don't. Cool. That is kind of weird that we don't need water in my opinion, but you know, I'm going to let it be. Oh, that's like a tiny skull. That's weird. I like it. I don't have anything in there that would have a skull, but cool. I wonder if I could fall into this thing. I don't think I should try. It's almost done. It's almost done. It's almost done. <laughs> Give it to me. Ha ha! Tan leather! We actually got an achievement. No real cows were harmed in the making of this. That's a lie. <laughs> I, I killed a kind of few cows. We'll just let that be. 
<gasps> Windmill. Okay, I'm getting excited because we're, we're getting close to actually, like, you know, being able to, 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 the, the, to touch that, the, our, our wind, windmill, watermill idea. And I actually, I, I have plans. I just knew to put them into place. We're getting close. It doesn't mean we can do it right now. Unfortunately, but but we're getting close. So now we have this tan leather. What can I even do with this? Just cut leather. I don't like that. Uh, saddle. Bellows. Balloon remnant. Airship balloon. Ooh, airship. And then I can use it to make glue. Which is basically like, uh, slime. Cool. Well, that will go back in the chest for now. Because I don't think we're doing that as of right now. We can't do any of that yet. Because we haven't gone to the nether. But we're at the end of the episode. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. We uh, That it was an iron venture. Did you guys hear that? That was in my left ear. Let's sleep. Okay. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, in the next episode, I don't know what we're doing, but we'll do it. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, I have no plans. My, my brain blank. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any tips or tricks or anything like that, put it down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!